As a lot of you know, I recently got this new 2022 Yamaha MT-07. And I think it is the best bang for your buck motorcycle, hands down. I absolutely love this motorcycle. Out of the 12 bikes that I've had, guys, I rank this as number two. <laughs> and this is one of the cheapest motorcycles that I bought, guys. And I've had some fast, cool bikes, you know, like the Priya Tuano, the CBR 1000 RR, and a bunch of other really cool bikes. But I'm going to tell you this, guys. Five things that I hate about this MT-07. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. You know, whatever motorcycle you're riding out there, guys, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets. And I have links to my awesome gear like this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there. I never leave home without it, and you shouldn't either. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my favorite helmet ever. Gauntlet gloves that are awesome. Boots, jacket, pants, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, I go in my garage sometimes just to look at the looks of the bike, and I know I I think a lot of you guys probably think that sounds crazy because uh, some of you guys don't like the looks of this bike but you know looks are subjective but I think the lines on this bike are pretty clean these are this is a good looking bike Woo! <laughs> I tell you but when you get on you throw a leg over this bike and you rip that throttle Woo! oh goodness man you get the thrill you get the I get get the same thrill that I got on them fast liter bikes like the two on and other bikes I'll tell you that right now and at a much cheaper cost. But I'm gonna tell you, there's some things that I don't like about the bike, and obviously for a bike that's $8,500 MSRP, you're not gonna have everything you want on the bike, okay? Even on the more expensive bikes, there's gonna be some things you don't like. So, but I'm gonna break it off. Number one, there's no, you know, slipper clutch on this, which that, that's not a big deal, and I do just fine without it, but it'd be nice if it had it. Uh, number two, is a display the display is really budget it'd be cool if they put a nice tft display on here like they did the mt09 but i don't really like the mt09's new display it's a bit small they, i felt like they could make it bigger if they take this same display right here and they make it better with a tft and uh that would be really cool but it's this serves its purpose it does what it needs to do you know what i'm saying like i said i'm digging here guys but anyways, number three, I have to say, the fender that comes with this bike, the standard ugly fender that are, come with so many stock bikes, but I'll tell you, the tides are changing in that aspect. The new BMW S1000 Double R, they actually put a nice fender on that bike. They finally stopped putting the ugly fender on that bike. And, and, and the MT-09 that I own, the 2020 MT-09, I don't know about the new one, but the stock fender on that was pretty decent though even though i changed it out i always changed to a different fender but that fender looked pretty decent on the mt09 so there are stock bikes out there that come with decent fenders where you don't really have to put in fender eliminator kit on it but this one has a really ugly fender <laughs> and i put a tst industries uh, low mount trick fender on there which is i think tst industries only only company that makes that and it's really awesome i did a video on that install i'll include a clickable link in the top right corner if you want to go check it out i would say number four is that the stock exhaust on this bike sucks but when you put an aftermarket exhaust it is one of the best sounding motorcycles ever i mean it, it sounds so amazing it sounds even better than a Harley to me, man. <laughs> or maybe sounds like a Harley. It sounds awesome. And uh, But, you know, I know some of you guys are going to cycle cruise. All stock exhaust sound like crap. That's not true. Because that 2017 Apria Tuano V4 1100 factory that I own, that stock uh, exhaust sounded good, man. Oh, man. It sounded like a MotoGP bike when you went higher up in the RPMs. I didn't, it, it sounded so good, I didn't even feel the need to change the exhaust. And also, the um, Ducati X Diavo S that I owned. That stock exhaust sounded pretty good, man. Once you started, you routed it and got it up higher in the RPMs, that sounded nice. It had a beautiful note to it. I felt like I didn't need to change that exhaust. So there are great, pretty, 
decent or better stock exhaust out there than others but this one sounds scooter like but like i said it, it you put the uh crop of edge exhaust or whatever exhaust on here it completely changes and it turns into the most amazing sounding bike that's the number two reason why i bought this bike was because for the soundtrack with an aftermarket exhaust another thing that i hate about this bike is that they don't make an sp version of it um, but i feel that for what you pay for this bike it's perfect you don't need a premium suspension on this bike this suspension is adequate and it's better than the mt09s the base mt09s suspension this budget and because that chassis is different on the mt09 is set up like a supermoto i call it a fake supermoto but the suspensions, the stock suspension sucked on that 2020 MT-09 I had. I, I don't know about the, the new MT-09, the non-SP. Now, I know the SP version has the, the premium suspension on it. But I think they make an SP for the MT-10. They make an SP for the MT-09. Why not for the 07? Because this is an awesome bike, and a lot of people take this to the track. So, I know you can upgrade the suspension, pay a couple thousand or whatever, and a 1500 or so, and make the suspension better on this bike. Um, but why not make a, a SP, a factory SP version? So, I, that, I never understood that, man. But uh, I have to say that, make sure you pay attention to these cars, guys. Even though you see I'm talking to motor vlog, I'm a, I'm a professional motor vlogger. <laughs> but, I, you know... Even though you see me talking, I pay attention to these cars, guys. I stay sharp, and I use defensive riding just to let you know. Um, but I have to say that overall, guys, I this bike is really sick, man. It, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for, for what I do with it. Um, honestly, I can't. There's nothing else I can really hate on the bike because I don't want any of the electronic rider aids. Um, even though it would be kind of cool if it had... Uh, cruise control on it um, but honestly you don't need it though because this uh, the purpose of this bike is not to tour on or whatever this is a, a, a urban city hooligan commuting having fun whatever you want to do bike so you don't really need you want to be ripping the throttle you want to be up in the rpms you don't want to just throw it in cruise you know what i'm saying you got other bikes for that so you don't really need cruise but it would be nice if they had uh, you know a few premium features on this but overall i have to say the package on this bike is really nice um i love the headlight is nice i love i'm telling you they they made the headlight look so much better and it's it it functions so much better than the previous generation mtl7 um, this one actually lights up the road at night and it looks good too it's awesome man i have to say I'm telling you guys, it, I know it sounds crazy that out of all the cool bikes that I've owned, out of the 12 bikes I've owned, that this is number two on my list next to my YZ450FX Custom Supermoto, which is number one and will always be number one. Supermoto life will always be the best because it's you can do so many more things, but this is number two for me, man. It sounds crazy, I know, but I love this bike so much and I can't, when I get the exhaust on this bike, I'm putting in a, a full Akrapovich carbon exhaust on here and doing a ECU tune with a Dino Jet uh, Power Vision 3, which I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. When you click on the link, just make sure to select your change it to your bike. But they make it for a lot of, lot of different bikes, and when you buy it, you can always get a license uh, for other bikes. So you can always, for a couple hundred dollars or something like that, you if you get another bike, you can put the software for that bike and uh, do custom tunes so i'll be doing a custom you know doing a, a tune on this with the exhaust and i'll tell you it completely changed this bike for me man with, with having an awesome soundtrack you guys were right uh, a lot of you out there out there a lot of you long time motor vloggers that have an mtl7 and you hoot and holler about it honestly guys you were right i'm but i'm glad i waited and got the 2022 you know because they changed the new generation the newest generation is 2021 plus um and i like the refinements that they made on the newer bike and they didn't mess with the engine which is awesome it's still got that peppy characteristic um bottom awesome bottom end grunt and everything but they made it look better they like i said all led headlights uh, and tail light 
and uh, just overall better package than the previous generation so it's definitely worth upgrading if you have the old MTL7 to this one um, but you're still gonna have the you know it's the old one you obviously have the same amount of fun it's just this bike looks so much better though but anyways leave a comment below and tell me guys what you think what are some things that you don't like about the MTL7 below and also I did a first ride review on this you might want to go check out and include a clickable link in the top right corner here and I'm doing a bunch of videos on this build videos coming up on this bike so stay tuned man this is an exciting bike for me guys seriously but anyways guys uh, make sure to hit thumbs up if you like this video it really helps my channel when you do hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the little bell symbol so that you get notified of my new videos but I upload New videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What is it? <laughs> He's got a weird helmet, man. But uh, anyways, guys, so until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.